Mic check, one, two. Today we're going to talk about how to hack your existing Lightroom presets by adding a slider. This is gonna be a short but detailed video, so let's do this. Hey guys, this is Justin and welcome to my channel where it's all about photos, videos, and camera stuff for beginners. Start learning right now by clicking the subscribe button as well as the bell button beside and follow me on Instagram as well if you want to learn more about camera settings because I post my settings alongside my photos every single day. Lightroom presets has been around for a long, 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 long time. And it's time for an update. It's time to get rid of the .lr templates and start using the .xml file format presets. Presets are great and they certainly save you a lot of time, but if you have a lot of pictures, a lot of presets, especially the heavy ones around, then it's going to be opposite of what you're trying to do instead. Furthermore, they are often too weak or too strong for your photos, so you have to tweak a lot of adjustments, tweak a lot of settings in order to get what you want. So wouldn't it be great if you you can just have a slider, an opacity slider, where you can just adjust the strength, the opacity of the presets. So now let's talk about how you can hack your Lightroom presets. In the past, we work around this by installing a plugin, a third-party slider called The Fader by CaptureMonkey.com. I'll link it down in the description as well if you want to check it out. But now there's a much more simpler solution that doesn't require any kind of plugins at all. You can turn your Lightroom presets into profiles. Profiles are awesome and easy to use. They are fast to load and they have an opacity slider as well. Check out the top five reasons why you should use Adobe Lightroom profiles instead of presets in my previous video. I'll link it down in the description or the top corners. I always don't know where they are, but yeah, top corner. So if you want to turn your Lightroom presets into profiles, first you'll be needing Photoshop CC so that you can access the Adobe Camera Raw and you'll be needing some kind of presets as well as a raw photo. So let me know, do you prefer presets or do you prefer profiles? Comments down below, let me know, let's fight. So start by double-clicking the RAW photos to bring out Adobe Camera RAW. If you don't have any RAW images around, then you can download mine. I'll link it down in the description. It's gonna be on my Google Drive, so download it if you want. Or just open up any images you have in your computer to open Photoshop CC. Then navigate yourself to Filter, Camera RAW Filter to open up Adobe Camera RAW. Navigate yourself to the Presets panel on the top right corner and click on the little burger icon to load your preset. Now here's the tricky part. On Windows, press Control. On Mac, press the Command key and then click on on the new icon on the bottom left corner and you will see the new profile window. Over there, just click on OK after you have done your renaming your new profile. So this is not the last step yet. There's one more thing you need to do. Next, open up your Adobe Lightroom. In the develop module, click on the little boxes icon in the basic panel and then click on the plus icon to import your newly created profile. Do that for the rest of the presets you have and then you can start using them. So if you have noticed, profiles will provide you with built-in previews without you having to hover over them or anything. And plus, your basic settings panel will also look neutral. It's not gonna be changed. So feel free to make your own adjustment. Finally, you have an opacity or strength slider where you can control the strength of the color. Awesome! If you have more presets, just do the same for the rest and you'll be done for the day. This is a simple hack that I currently use for all my presets right now. I've kind of stopped using presets quite some time ago. I've been using profiles instead. So that's all for this video and I will be having more tutorial videos coming out focused mainly for beginners. And you haven't subscribed, please subscribe right now as well as clicking the bell button beside so that you'll be notified every time I post a new tutorial. And if you like and take a lot of night photos and you're looking for ways to spice them up even more, check out the presets and profiles files that I've created on my website. If you want a more detailed guide on this with step-by-step -step pictures, then there's a written article on my website as well. I'll link everything down in the description. 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 Like if you like this video and thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.